Hi there, my name is Bethany Kerr. Have you ever struggled with, with drawing eyes? I know a lot of people have a lot of trouble drawing eyes and so I thought I would try to do a step-by-step -step, just walk you through the process and um, in the description you're actually going to see this outline uh, there that you can download and you can follow along with me. I'm also going to have the reference photo so you can also print that and uh, be looking at it as you go along. Now usually what I do when I start drawing an eye is I find the darkest spots in the reference photo. Um, and so you want to always be looking at your reference photo as you draw. So what I usually do is I find the very darkest spots in the photo. And for this one, that would be the pupil. And I just start, I start using, this one is a 8B pencil. It's a really dark, really soft lead. So I start drawing in the pupil as, with, with a lot of pressure because I want it to be a nice, smooth, dark. Okay. And then um, I usually use a blending stump to sort of smooth that over. Okay. Now the other darkest spot that I can find is around the edges of the eye. And I want you to notice the way I'm holding the pencil here. The reason that I'm about to do it this way is because if you'll notice the edges of the eye there's not a uh, there's not a sharp line it's very soft and so when I draw with my pencil this way it's going to have a very soft outline I'm skipping this part uh, where the uh, highlight is. Don't want to color over that. Want it to stay as light as possible. <clears throat> There's a, a slightly sharper line right here as it touches the waterline. So you can angle your pencil a little more uh, upwards when you do the straighter lines. See how I've got my, my pencil in an upward motion now because now I'm on the top of the eyelid. And you see how there's a nice dark line right here. <clears throat> so I'm going to make it dark. And just always be looking right back at your reference photo whenever you're drawing. I like to use my phone because you can zoom in and it's right there beside you, sort of compare side by side, and I think that makes it a lot easier for me. Okay, so now I'm not going to worry with the eyelashes yet. <clears throat> the next thing that I would mention, or what I, that I would do, is I'd go in here um, on the side of the eye here, close to the tear ducts, and you see how it's there's like a a rectangular shape that is very dark, and you want to um, you want to draw it like this, very lightly with your pencil because you can erase it, and here. Now on the outer edge, 
right here it's going to be dark but as you go in it's not quite as dark there's some spots that are slightly lighter and um, and we will make them look lighter in just a minute we're actually going to just go ahead and color it in dark if you're using this 8B pencil it should be pretty easy to lift it off oh yeah I've gone down into the actual uh, tear duct area because there's also a shadow right here okay so now I get my blending stump out and I'm going to blend that really good and it doesn't matter if you get out of the lines that part is going to be shaded anyway and blend that up really good in fact I'm just going to go all through that whole area and now um, I'm going to go back over the darker spots this um, is darker and this is also darker now to get these <coughs> To get these highlights um, to show up in the lighter spots and darker spots, I'm going to use the kneaded eraser. There's some little dots right along this area here. Okay. I'm going to zoom out a little so I can see it. See what I'm doing is I'm lifting off those spots and making them look lighter. And we're going to go over that again later. Um, now I'm going to get this blending stump, which mine is dirty. Yours may not be dirty, so you may want to get it dirty. And you, well, how you can do that is you get a pencil and you scribble all over paper and you rub this into it and it will get the lead transferred to your blending stump. So once you have your blending stump dirty, then you can, <clears throat> you can use it to make these soft details like this with almost no effort at all. So I'll get this blend, blending stump and I'll go all around all of the spots that have sort of a light tone. If, if you notice an eye is not, not totally white, there's like all these different colors and shades. And um, so you want to sort of mimic that with the blending stump. And we can use a kneaded eraser later on to lift up the highlights. at the top it's a little bit darker so I'm going to add a little bit more pressure with my blooming stump okay <clears throat> I'm going to focus back on the eye the iris and around the edges I'm just going to blend I start at the outer edge and you can go a little bit out of the edge because again look at this picture and you can see how it blends into the eye it's not a straight line and we're going to re-darken 
the outer part of the iris after we blend. Now I'm going to go ahead and just blend all the way across the eye. Now I'm going to get the 8B pencil again. Oh, actually this one's 6B. I'm going to get, I don't know where I put the 8B. I got 6B. And that'll work. I'm going to go in, sort of in the middle of this, out, if you see this, this, just imagine a shape like this here. And I'm going right in the middle of it and doing it dark. And then I'm going to slowly lighten my pressure as I go outward and lighten it as I go out inward. The middle is very dark. You just push plenty of pressure there. Now I'm taking my blending stump again. I'm going to blend the whole outer part of the iris. And just keep blending until it looks like a smooth graduation. And don't worry if you get outside the lines, that is perfectly fine. Okay. And now, I guess I'll go with a 4B pencil. I'm just going to do this again on the edges. It's just building up layers. It creates a much more 3D effect when you blend and do layers. I think I'm going to go back to 6B. 4B is too hard. Yeah, that's better. blend again. Now, um, if you notice, the inside of the eye has a lot of details inside it. A lot of details you can't really pick up when you're just looking at someone um, face to face. And um, you can make impressions of these. Honestly, first though, you want to just get the, squint your eyes, and you notice how when you squint your eyes, 
you can see that around about this far around the eye people it's darker and so I'm going to just shade it in first I think all of the better work will be done with the kneaded eraser when we get to that point and notice again how I'm holding my pencil when I uh, when I'm shading things in I like to hold my pencil this way because you can get a a larger um, amount of graphite on the paper and it's much more smooth because when you um, to demonstrate what I mean if you um, if you get your pencil and you're holding it up like this and you're doing this you see all those lines like that now when you hold your pencil like this it's, it's a much smoother graduation and you don't see all these lines so anyway that's why I like to do that okay well I'm going to make it a little darker so when I, once I smooth it out it's going to get lighter get the blending stump out again you just blend until everything looks smooth using circular strokes helps Now I'm going to make some lines um, coming from the pupil to the outer part of the iris. Just be sure to look at your reference photo for guidance. It'll help you know where these lines are coming from and going. And you don't have to do it exactly. You can you can just sort of play around with it because it doesn't have to be exact I want you to notice the way I'm using my pencil right now um, I'm sort of uh, I'm taking it and grabbing, I'm, I'm putting pressure and then releasing the pressure, just sort of wisping. Um, I'm doing it really quickly so you might not be able to tell, but when I do it in slow motion, it's sort of just like you grab the paper and you swipe across. That makes it look more natural. Now I'm going to go one more time around the edge of the eye and make it dark. Now this is my favorite part. This is when I get um, the kneaded eraser out and I start pulling up the highlights. And I also use um, a cap eraser or a mechanical eraser, I mean a mechanical pencil eraser. Um, these all three have such different ways that they can help you erase. I think I erase more than I draw a lot of times.
you can tap, you can simply tap your kneaded eraser, or you can tap and pull, or you can shape it however you want it to be shaped, and you can tap it. See how it's starting to look a little more three-dimensional? I'm also going to go around the edge, edge of the iris right here. There's a slight highlight there. I use this eraser for edges. I'm going to go back over this real quick. That part is still dark, and that part is still dark. going to use this eraser here because if you look right here you can see that there's some spots that are really white as opposed to that that blue color that's darker and so and it comes on the outer edge of this darker spot that I'd colored in so you want to go around and just create that light And again, it doesn't have to be exact. Just needs to follow the pattern of what you're seeing. Now I'm going to take this and lightly make lines coming from the pupil out towards the iris or lines from out in this lighter spot into the pupil. Just to suggest those details. And then I'm going to make it, some of them come out all the way to the end of the eye here. Look how I'm, I'm doing that same technique that I did with the pencil earlier. I, I stick it down on the paper and then I swipe up or swipe outwards because you don't want to um, you don't want to do this you don't want to go like that because that's not going to look natural you want to do motions like that it's gonna it's gonna have a, a lighter um, or a more pointy tip it'll look more natural go back over the outer edges again. I know it seems like, why are you doing it so many times? But the more you do it, the more, the better it's going to look in the end. It just is. And if you see any spots that are sort of darker uh, in the middle here, you can define them, maybe make a line or two, like they're really dark.
continually look at your reference picture as you work and you'll start to notice little things. Look around wherever you're at on the picture. Constantly look at your, ref um, your reference photo at that point and compare back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and you'll start to notice little things. And you just include those in. For instance, around this little edge that, um, I mean, around this, this center part here, around the iris, I mean, the pupil, there is sort of a, uh, a zigzag or there's points. It goes up and down, zigzag, all around. And so you can sort of imitate that by adding some little points. All right. And then you see this, um, this light spot right here. It's right here next to this big highlight. It's right here. So you can get an eraser and pull that off. And later we can actually use a, a white paint marker to make it really light right here if we really want to make it look more realistic. But we'll get to that later. I'm going to make sure that there's more light here. And I'm going to blend again. And more lines. And some of them can be soft lines, some of them can be harder lines, because if you'll notice there's all there's all kinds of variations. Um, some are really light, some are dark. And some are, if you saw it black and white, it would look pretty much like it was white. Just going around the iris. The, <laughs> I keep saying iris, but I mean to say pupil. Going okay, around the pupil with these lines starting from the middle and wisping out, wisp out, wisp out. And I think I need to make there a more subtle graduation of light to dark here. You know, it's really interesting is that, and I'm not going to draw it, but you can see these very faint lines. Those are actually um, the reflection of the eyelashes. Okay. Now look at this. Look at this highlight. It has like what looks like sort of waves. And I'm going to draw some of those waves on there. And they, if you notice, it goes from here, from here, and it goes up a little bit and then around and up this way. This is also a reflection of an eyelash. And it doesn't have to be perfect, it just has to um, give that general impression. I'm smoothing it out with a blending stump, and then I'm going to lift off this and this. I'm lifting up this whole highlight really bright. Now I'm going to get my kneaded eraser, and on the white of the eye, I'm going to just, um, just make this a tad lighter on the bottom because it doesn't look quite that dark but on the bottom edge I'm going to leave a little bit of the shading and I'm still leaving some of the shading in the middle it's just very very subtle and I'm going to lift off a tiny bit right here just really a little bit I'm 
going to do a couple more of these lines here. There, I like that. Now let's look at the the line of the eye here, the outline. Let's just very softly um, use this dark pencil to put the shading right there. I'm going to go all around the top of the eyelid, or the under the eyelid right here. And on this side, let's see how dark is the shadow. It doesn't look like there's a very dark shadow under the eyelashes. So I'm just going to just going to softly outline it. Okay. And down here, I'm going to go around the bottom and I'm going to softly shade it in too. Because if you see the outline there, it's not that dark. And over here, you see all these, these lines here? We're going to just make, well, we're going to first sketch it a little bit and just make sure that we got the lines where we want them. And then we can just add to it and keep adding until it's dark. Don't worry about details right now. We're going to just get the shading. I'm going to do the same thing down here. Just keep on shading. I'm going to use the other pencil. No, oh, there's the AP pencil. this eraser to pull that right back up, that highlight. And my blended blending stump, I'm going to use that to darken this shadow right here. And that shadow right there. If you find yourself seeing pencil lines like this, you can do the cross hatching. Um, so now I'm going to darken this this shadow under here. And I'm going to darken it over here. darken this area here. If you squint your eyes, you can see where it's the darkest. 
and you can shade accordingly. And don't worry about it being perfect because you can always go back and erase. darken the shadow line here again just like we did with the iris we just keep building up and building up Now we're going to start working on eyelashes. Well, we can do the highlights on the, the skin later, but I'm going to go with the eyelashes. Now, um, one thing you'll notice is that some of the eyelashes are pointing this way, and some are pointing down, and some are pointed upwards. And so these are going towards the right, these are going down, and and towards the right and these are going upwards uh, towards the right and then up so a lot of times if someone's drawing an eye they might they might have the eye here and they might think oh well this is how eyelashes look but that's it's really not how they look in real life they are uh, going all different directions and you have to pay attention to what the direction is or your eyes gonna not look right now notice that the eyelashes actually don't start at the um, the edge of the eyelid here. They actually start that about that far apart. You, so you want to start your lash here, and you can make that wasn't very straight, but and this might be kind of complicated, which is why the picture that I've got that you can download it has. Um, it has all these eyelashes drawn for you. Well, not all of them. It has some of them. Then what you want to do is hold your pencil like this and then wisp. You want it to be uh, a quick movement because otherwise you might end up doing this. And that doesn't look very good. Now some of these, um, you know, they're sort of clumped together because the, the lady in this picture is wearing mascara. You could actually go along and make a bunch of lines going this direction, because <clears throat> right here they're all going this way, and then right here you've got them do it going more downward and right here well they're all basically going out like this the the initial part of the eyelash but then um, let's see where exactly is this eyelash that is right above this black part this shadow it's actually about that far and um, so in what direction is it going? It's going toward the left. So we make an eyelash, and you can't really see it because I've got all this shading here, but you make it go in towards the left a little bit. And then over here you'll see um, this, it starts hmm, somewhere around the middle of the people here, and you look up here, start um, the eyelashes are sort of like that from that point. So 
they see them like they just sort of they're they're going forwards so you can't really see them going up or down because they're going forwards um, so then there's this one that you can see it's sort of towards the, uh, the two o'clock position on this eye and it's going towards the right there okay and then these they're going well look you see the edge of the eye here the iris okay you go about this much space in between the edge of it and this eyelash here okay so you've got that line there like that and then there's one that comes uh, it starts about halfway up this eyelash and it goes around a curve like this it may not look right right now but it will when it's done okay so we've got all these different eyelashes that are going like this and now they're starting to wisp upwards and I'm going to um, use a light mm -hmm. pressure with my dark pencil here this is the 8B in case you're interested and I'm just going to imagine she has eyeliner on right there I'm gonna make it a little bit darker I'm gonna blend that Now one thing I love about the mechanical pencil is that you can make the lines really thin and it's consistent. So if you wanted thin lines, this is perfect. And that looks more realistic to have some of these wispy ends be so thin. And now on the uh, on the bottom, it looks like this actually curves a little bit towards that direction. Okay, so um, now don't forget that there's a water line. This is uh, there is like this much of a space between the inside of the water line that touches the iris and the part where the eyelashes come out. So you want to uh, let's see this first dark eyelash that I see it's about halfway down the or halfway in between the iris and it starts right here and it goes like that downwards okay and then this next one it's like like this and it might not be exactly accurate but it doesn't matter because it's it's the general location And just keep um, drawing these outer lashes and notice how most of them curve around from to the right they're curly and going towards the right and I'm going to get my mechanical erase wait, my mechanical pencil and just quickly do that. Try to do it without thinking about it too much. And now look on this side of the the iris, where there's a middle part right here. On this side of that, um, a lot of these hairs are starting to go this way. All right. Now I'm going to lift off some of the, the white on the eye again.
right here too. Right there inside the tear duct area. And um right here I'm using my eraser, my cap eraser. And I'm going to make some lines. See how there's lines here. And I'm going to make some of these lines. And right here under the eyelashes, notice that it's really light. So we're going to go down about this far. And over here it's, it's darker because the eyelashes are covering it. And then under here again it's light. You can see in between all of these lashes. I'm going to darken the lashes again. <clears throat> I think it's better with the mechanical pencil. my eraser again, my cap eraser. Just go along the edge of this eyelid. And then I'm using my kneaded eraser to pull off some more of the highlights. We're not going to go into all of the detail of the eyelid because this is just a beginner lesson. We're just going to keep it easy. use this, shade the outer edges. Now notice that there is a highlight right here. I'm going to just tap my kneaded eraser here, and yeah, it's going to erase some eyelashes, but I'm just going to draw them back on. And, get my cap eraser out, and you see that along this line here, on the inside of it, it's, it's lighter. I'm going to lighten up some of these spots here a little bit more. Darken this here. We're getting closer to the end here. See how I'm just sliding my kneaded eraser across the page and that sort of draws a highlight. And then it's going to be a little bit rougher on the edges 
So you can use a tissue paper to just smooth that out. So right now I'm just adding some more lines on the eye because I was noticing a lack of detail. Okay. <clears throat> just basically refining everything that I can find to refine and I'm not going to go over the top with detail because the fact that I, I don't want to make it too overwhelmingly difficult I'm just going to increase my shadow here and here I'm going to add some shading down here. And right along the top, uh, like right along the top of here, you'll notice there's a little slight shadow. So we're just going to make it darker right here. And you start and you make it dark, and then you light, lighten up the pressure as you go until it's almost invisible. So, like that. push hard then push less and push less until it's very faint blending with the blending stump again yeah. and over here I'm going to look at notice this it gets darker right around here and here so we're going to make a line where it's right here it starts somewhere around this just about that far I'm going to calculate okay something like that I'm going to cross hatch a little some of the shading goes up into right underneath the eyelashes where they begin the base and so we're going to just do some shading right there and now don't don't color the water water line you want to leave that lighter and it gradually like there's only a small section right here um, it's, it's kind of thinner and it just gets thicker as it goes over here it's thicker and it even grows into all the way down to here that's because the light is coming from this direction this way Define that line right there a little bit. 
and right along here. You'll probably notice that I like to jump around a lot. I don't, I don't do one little section at a time. I kind of go around and do a little here and a little there until I get it done. Because as I'm working, I just start to notice little things. Like, oh, I need to do this. I need to mess with that. Okay, so blending stuff again. And we're going to build up layers on this just really quickly. Toilet paper. Needed eraser. Gonna lift up. Right here, it seems like the shadow is lessened right here. It goes along that way. And right here, doesn't go quite as far as that. Oops. Let me fix that. use my eraser. Just lift this up. I'm just finding where are the light spots, where are the dark spots. Let me darken the spots that are darker and lighten the spots that are lighter. It's really that simple. I just keep going around, looking at the, checking the reference photo against my picture. I think this needs to be a little darker right there. Darken the eyes, uh, eyelashes here again. And now, um, there's a lot more I could probably do to make this even more realistic, but I'm going to you leave it. keep playing around with it and keep refining the shadows, uh, lifting off highlights over and over again until you get it exactly like you like it. Um, for now, this is what I've got. And um, if you decide to try this, I would really love to see your work. I'd love to see um, 
your examples. So if you send them to me, um, I may be able to post them on the blog. That would be great. So just send me a comment and let me know what you think. Has this helped you? Um, if it helped you, let me know. If there's anything I didn't explain that you didn't understand, just uh, send me a comment and let me know.